Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted to share with you a thought that I was having about a saying that I heard a long time ago when I was attending an Al-Anon meeting. Um, one of the sayings that you would hear a lot in Al-Anon that I heard a lot in Al-Anon was um, keeping your side of the street clean. And I, I pondered on that a little bit. I, I felt like I understood it and I knew what that meant. Um, but applying it was a challenge in my life at that time in my life. And so really understanding it and grasping it wasn't until later in my life um, that I was able to really kind of take it in and decide, okay, this is what this means to me when it's about keeping my side of the street clean. So that is what I want to talk about today is keeping your side of the street clean. What that is all about and um, that slogan, why would they have that slogan in Al-Anon? So one of the things we learn about in Al-Anon early on is that, um, you know, if it's going to be, it's up to me, um, kind of uh, sl another slogan that we hear. And that is because we have to keep our side of the street clean and the person that maybe is we consider our qualifier or whatever we call them, they have to keep their side of the street clean. And sometimes they don't want to, and sometimes I don't want to keep my side of the street clean. But if I choose not to keep my side of the street clean, that comes down on me and it's not their fault. It's not my qualifier's fault that I'm having an issue with something. And so I want to explain that a little bit in a kind of, another version of keeping your side of the street clean that kind of resonated with me. So think about it when you are a child and let's say you're on the playground at the school and the, you have a friend or, you know, an enemy, whatever you want to call it. Cause I know when you're younger, you have friends and their enemies and friends and enemies back and forth. So let's say you have a friend of yours that says to you, you're stupid. And so they call you dumb on the playground and you go over to the recess lady, the duty, we would call her, the gal that was on duty. We'd go to her and say, hey, you know, this girl um, just told me that I was stupid and that really hurt my feelings. And so the, the duty might come and say, well, let's go talk to her about it. Let's see what's going on. And so we go to her and she might even ask um, this little girl to apologize for me, like to apologize for, you know, say you're sorry for hurting Angie's feelings. And so that is kind of a scenario that you might have experienced, or maybe even you as an adult now have noticed that you've done that with children in your life. Um, and they have maybe said that their feelings got hurt. And so you were trying to justify or clarify what was going on. And this is where I want to explain this part of keeping your side of the street clean is that the truth is they said words and then I applied meaning to those words. So they said, he, she said that I was stupid. I applied meaning what that meant to me. And they said words, that's their side of the street. They can say whatever they want to from their side of the street. If I choose to apply a meaning, that's my side of the street. So I'm taking that on. It doesn't mean that they did anything right or wrong. It just means that they said words and now I've applied meaning to it. And understanding that when I apply meaning to it, that's on me. That's not on her word she said, it's completely on me. And so one of the things that, right, when somebody says words, you know, when we apply meaning, right, these are my feelings. So the, they're, they, she hurt my feelings and that's their feelings. They, she felt that I was stupid. So these are her feelings. This is her thoughts that she's having. So my feelings and their feelings, again, keeping our side of the street clean and understanding that they're going to have feelings and I'm going to have feelings and I'm going to choose those feelings based on what I believe that I put meaning behind her words that she said to me. So when it comes to keeping your side of the street clean, I just want to offer to you that that is a really great slogan. It's a really good thing to live by because People are allowed to do what they want to do. They, they get to choose how they want to respond, react in life, how they want to show up in life. And it's up to us to decide what we decide to put meaning on that and the feelings that we decide behind that. 
Those are completely up to us. It's not up to them. And understanding that, that there is true power in that, that that means something to you, that that means that people can say words to us and we can decide what those mean to us or not. And sometimes it's hard to do, right? Because we're not robots. So sometimes it's hard to hear people say certain words to us, but understanding that these are words they're speaking and I'm deciding to apply meaning to those and how those are affecting my feelings. So when it comes to things of people saying stuff, just realize that when you keep your side of the street clean, you have nothing to worry about. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.